Have you ever had this experience at your dentist? It seems most people do not like to visit their dentist regularly. Why? Pain. To some people, the sight of dental instruments often invokes feelings of anguish and fear. In fact, most dental instruments are not pleasing to the eye or to your mouth. Until now. NASA and its partners have developed an instrument that will help keep periodontal disease, which is the leading cause of tooth loss in adults, in check. This technology was originally designed to help detect cracks in airplanes, but is now currently being used to design and manufacture a revolutionary dental instrument called the ultrasonographic periodontal probe. The technology that's in the probe is ultrasonics. These are the sound waves that we use to probe inside materials such as the aircraft wings. Ultrasonics is very high frequency sound. We at NASA use high frequency sound to actually look inside materials. We like to be able to assess the health of a material, just like a physician would assess the health of a person. When you look with ultrasound inside a material, you can find defects. Defects such as internal damage, defects such as corrosion that would lead to a loss of strength of a material that might cause a mission failure. Now, how did you discover the specific problems that the probe solves? The specific problem was actually discovered while we were trying to assess the integrity of aircraft. Ultrasonics could characterize the disbonds and microcracking that occurred near rivets on aircraft. That same ultrasonics could be used to find disbonds between the teeth and the gums. In other words, periodontal disease. Periodontal disease is an infection of the tissues that help anchor your teeth. If left untreated, it can lead to tooth and bone loss. Currently, the most widely performed method to measure periodontal disease is not the most comfortable. It involves the insertion of a small, blunt probe between your tooth and gum to measure the depth of the periodontal pocket. This process is highly invasive, uncomfortable, and inconsistent. This new instrument developed by NASA Langley and its partners uses ultrasonic sound waves that interact with your teeth and map the periodontal pocket. NASA works very closely with medical people during the technology transfer that allows us to take what we have learned in studying materials and apply it to materials that are human tissue. We've had many people contribute to its success. One of those individuals is John Companion. John worked at NASA Langley Research Center for 27 years and now works in the Applied Science Department at the College of William and Mary. We met up with John at the Dental Hygiene Research Center at Old Dominion University. The new probe simply touches the surface of the gum and slides along and the only coupling between the gum and the probe is just water. So it's totally non-invasive doesn't hurt at all, should provide more information because of the way the information is gathered, and it should be faster. The problem that you have with the current technology is, one, obviously, is it's highly invasive, and this hurts. Ultrasound doesn't. No sensation, no penetration. They simply run it just along the edge of the gum, and you get a nice little image on the screen of a computer that shows you a map. All the information retrieved by the probe can be archived on a computer. A physician can then compare real-time data and past data to diagnose the condition of the patient. And the nice thing that the dentists like about this is they can show the map to the patient so he can actually see what's going on in his gum. And of course, if you can evaluate the disease, you can also evaluate the treatment. So when they start treating it, you can go back and you can check on it and see, is this particular treatment doing any good? Do we need to modify it? Do we need to do something different here? And because this will all be computerized, you only need one person to do it. Right now, you have to have one person to take the measurement, one person to write down the measurement. There's time savings, there's money savings. The patients like it. I liked it. I've actually used myself as a guinea pig. I've had all three types of probing done by several different dentists now. And let me tell you, the ultrasound is the only way to go. <laughs> the use of ultrasound in dental diagnostics provides an alternative approach to conventional probing. Patient discomfort and the need for drugs like Novocaine are virtually eliminated. This technology could eventually touch every person who visits the dentist regularly.